Congratulations on the win. Can you tell us how you're feeling right now? Right here, all the way in the back. Um, I'm feeling good. My leg is a little busted up, but other than that, I'm good. Is that how you saw the fight going? Did you expect to go three rounds with him? <sighs> yes and no. Like I always say, <clears throat> I never expect to predict anything when I go into a fight. I just go in there and try to perform to the best of my ability and what me and my coaches set out to do. And then what happens, happens. But Emmanuel, he's a freaking dog, man. And he kept coming, even though I hit him with some great, great shots. And I was like surprised actually, because I felt like, okay, now he's starting to slow down. And I could feel, oh, he's slowing down. And then brrr, he came back with a burst, like what the hell? How can he keep finding like his second win? But yeah, it was pretty much how I thought it would go. So did you go by your game plan or did you have to adjust anything in there? No, I think actually it went pretty much as the game plan was planned out, yeah. <clears throat> when do you want to get back in there? I see they have a card in November in Dublin. I really like to get on that card. I've been fighting <clears throat> three fights in like nine months. So I'm going to Greece with my family next week. I'd like to heal up and get a little vacation in and then get back in it later this year. And how about those fans? How did it feel? Oh, it was so nice, man. It's like uh, when we started slinging leather, I think it wasn't the first or the, or the second. I could hear him like, whoa, whoa. It was like, yeah, let's go. That was so cool. So nice to have the, the, the what do you call it, the audience back. So do you think uh, now that you've, you know, you've fought in front of fans again, will you be able to go back to no fans if that's the case? I mean, I got to do what I got to do to get a fight. So if that that's what I have to do. That's what I have to do. Thank you. Thanks. I mean, yeah, I think I performed very well, very, very well. Yes, I think I'm one of the best in the world, so of course, but like, usually I hate talking about stuff like that after my fights because I've just been into a <clears throat> very... You told us, ask me after the fight. Uh, yeah, no, you're doing your job, you're a reporter too, so you have to do, yeah, I thought I performed very well to fight for the title. It was a high-risk strategy when you walk towards him. He, I, I'm just saying, Oh yeah. I thought it was a high-risk strategy as you walked towards him playing peekaboo because he's a very adept striker. What made you know that you were able to take him on in that way? Because I know I am... I can say that hands on for sure. I'm the slickest 145er in the world. It might be seem like I'm getting hit, but I'm rolling with the punches and, and all that stuff. And like, uh, I, w I saw the significant strikes after the fight. I was like, what the hell, man? He, of course he hit me with a little bit, but like the shots he hit me with, with was like nothing. I was just walking him down, like stressing him with my presence. And yeah, trying to touch, touch, touch. The plan was like walk him down, be in his face, because that's what he do to everybody. And don't try to take his head off with my punch. Just touch, touch, touch. And when he's trying to, <clears throat> when he's trying to blast me back, shoot for the double. Couple of and quick and yes, when he try to get up, don't like fight like for your life to keep him down. Just let him get up, and then boom, blast him to the body when he's trying to get away. Couple of other. Good ones for me, finally. And um, what did you make of AJ McKee's performance against oh, Patricio tonight? Beautiful performance. Beautiful performance. I, I, I just saw the finish, to be honest. But what I saw, that was, yeah, beautiful. Calculated. But AJ is someone that you want to take on, yeah? Yeah, later on, yeah. Of course, if that's who I have to fight for the title, that's who I have to fight for the title. And second of all, last time, when I fought in Paris, you weren't there. Oh, you did? Then it was Mohegan's son, but I was like, man, people was asking me all kind of questions, and I see you looking hella slick with all with that suit and that uh, with those glasses. Who, who's your who's your fashion guy? Where do you go? I, we need to talk about that afterwards. I like your style, man. You smooth as a mother. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mads, congrats on the win, man. Um, over here to your right. Uh, do you think that that was the best striking performance of your career? I know it seemed like on the microphone that was something that you really wanted to get out there. It was like, hey, everybody thinks of me for my Japanese neckties and stuff. But so yes and no. I, I had a fight in Cage Warriors, my last Cage Warriors fight, where I pieced the dude up too. But I got to fight smart. Like I always say, you need to find with this hit and not that hit. And that's what I did today. Like I don't go in there to fight with my, with my balls to say it. Excuse my friends, I'll try to use my, my proper head and fight the fight the smartest way without taking 
uh, damage. Like, yeah, and that's that was the plan today. I knew if I just went in there today and try to f- fucking hunt the takedown, I would gas out. And he would start to do Emmanuel Sanchez just like like a machine to da, 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 start going and you can't stop him. So, yeah, just touch him bop, 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 and then take him down when I could. And I couldn't help but notice when you came in the room, uh, your legs a little banged up. How did that happen? And what do you think is going on there? Uh, I try to chew his low calf up. And yeah, that's how it happened. Mads, I mean, I, I think that a lot of people saw this fight as, hey, this is your breakout kind of performance. Like, do you see yourself now being, I know you want to fight, obviously, on the big card, but main event type of fighter after this one? I haven't thought about it, but yeah. When you look at the division, obviously you want AJ. Who are some of the other guys that, you know, because they've been locked yeah. into the tournament? F- first of all, gotten- I want to say I didn't call anybody out. So what you guys trying here, you want this, you want that. All I want now is a Modelo and a burger, okay? That's what I want. So right. don't try to put something in my mouth I didn't say. I want to fight the best. We take that slowly. Slowly, slowly. We get right. there. Yeah, what was your question? Sorry. How do you like your burger? What, what burger I like? Yeah. Fat burger. Within. We don't have fat burger in Denmark. In Denmark, we only have McDonald's and Burger King. Shit. Every, that's why every time I go to America, it's like, it's depressing because every time I go here, it's two months and it's usually for a fight and I can't eat all the bullshit you guys have over here. So I'm just, and I see my coach, Dennis, every time I come home, I'm eating, he's right over there with the mask. Yeah, he's looking hella slick. Young Jason Statham. But, uh, <clears throat> So every time I come back from practice, he's eating chicken wings, this and that. And I'm just sitting there with my salad like, fuck you, Dennis. <laughs> you get it with everything. You get it with it. You may have a special I don't know. Mate. I just go in, in there and say, I want that. And that's it. <laughs> get after it. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, there were a couple of 3027s and there was a 29-28 there. I'm curious how you scored the fight. The... I won. That's what matters. <laughs> yeah. So going into the third round, I, I, like I think actually I won all three rounds, um, <clears throat> but I can see that the uneducated eye would think that I got hit quite a lot when I walked him down and behind my guard and my shoulder roll. But it's part of strategy, like picking my shots him to the body. He did hit me with a very good body shot in the second or the first. I was like, holy shit, that was good. But yeah. We all seem to be enjoying you here. Are you as funny in Danish as you are in English? I'm like the Danish Dave Chappelle. (laughs) (laughs) All right, that's it for us. Thank you very much for the time, Mads. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.